Hey guys! After making two different stop tutorials, a lot of you wanted to know how to spray more or higher. So, here is how. What I told you in my basic hockey stop tutorial, to gradually build up from a curve until you reach your ultimate level, was true. But does the road end with a solid hockey stop? No, of course not, you can still add one more thing. A dense cloud of fractured, tiny, frozen water particles. To make it cooler. How? Ok, let's start with the obvious ones. Speed and angle. These two go hand in hand. If you increase the speed, you have the possibility to stop more aggressively. Provided that you also lower your angle. This is something you can't practice while going slowly, so it might take time to improve, because you might get tired easily. Technically, I think there is no limit for the leaning angle, other than, of course, the physical limit where your skates can't go lower anymore. I've talked to a hockey trainer. We don't see any disadvantage of using higher blades. It will feel just a little bit different, but you will definitely have more space to lean. Next that can help spray higher is the force that you apply. When I really want to do a big stop, I push my feet into the ground harder. It's probably just my muscles that twitch harder, because I can't go under the surface of course, but I still feel I have control over my weight. If you go a bit deeper before the stop, then you can try to extend your legs during the actual stop, that will help. Also, while we are here, you can almost double the force with a simple trick. Just remove one leg from the procedure. Medium speed stop on two legs. Medium speed stop on one leg. Not much, but noticeable difference. If this is the speed you can handle, apply this trick. Full speed stop on two legs. Full speed stop on one leg. It starts to become unpredictable here. My skate got stuck on the ice. Just look at this deepening cut. Maybe the angle was too high. Let's go deeper. Now it just slips. There must be a middle point somewhere, but it's easier to go with a two legged version. Super mega speed stop on two legs. Super mega speed stop on one leg. Are you crazy? It's so uncontrollable. There is no way I lean in for that much. Using this high angle resulted in a longer and bumpier stop. Pressure. If you further decrease the surface that contacts the ice, for example by shifting your weight a little bit on the nose area at the end, that will also generate more pressure. So instead of arriving with parallel feet, you open up a bit. Your back leg can be a support leg, which means you don't put as much weight on it. Radius of hollow. This shouldn't be the reason why you would use deeper radius, but it's clear that deeper hollows are more destructive, that's the reason why they are slower. It happens that I have an extra pair of skates with me, which we manually sharpen to be a destroyer. I just tried one stop from medium speed and it was awful. Same thing as the one leg full speed stop. This cuts way too much. The blade is for lightweight people, kids and girls. Ice temperature and quality can also be a factor. However, you have almost zero control over it. I like natural ice for spraying. But what you can do on the rings is that you target clean areas. If there is debris on the ice already, it can block the particles. It seems to me that spraying can also be trained, but after a level, there is no point making it bigger. Body weight also has an impact on the pressure, and I guess you're not gonna eat more to spray higher. I never had the highest sprays on the rink, but I'm very confident with quick, unexpected stops, and that is more important. That's it guys for this tutorial, we also touched sharpening, I have a video on that, and I'm still being asked, I do have a guide on how to choose ice skates, check that out. Have a nice icy day, see you!